Hey guys, it's Saturday morning. I am just getting some things together and then we have a really busy day, but I wanted to show you a couple things that I did around the house. So if you watched my last video, I got that cute little wicker basket over there and replaced it with like this brown barrel that I moved in the playroom, which I actually did something with. And I got started on my DIY faux brick. Hi, Miles. two sizes. Yeah. So I have his room in here a little bit more organized. It is not done, but it does look better. He's playing in here. And I got this rug, but I'm just trying to get it to straighten out. I don't know if I should get like tape or something. So I just have stuff on the corners trying to get it to flatten out the rest of the way. But it's definitely starting to come together in here. I wish I had a before picture. It was a disaster. So this is all of my taping that I got done yesterday. And the only thing I couldn't finish was this top part because I could not reach it. And I ran out of tape anyway. So Ryan ran to grab us more tape and um, we actually bought a ladder because we didn't have one here at the house. So I'm gonna finish taping and then put the joint compound on and let that dry. And then the fun part begins, which is actually like painting and creating these bricks. But I already think it's gonna look so cool and just give this room some really much needed character. So to do the taping part of this, you're gonna need a level, which I have here. So you're actually gonna use a uh, pencil on the wall to measure and draw out these lines and then go back and tape over them. And I did mine eight inches long and three inches wide. So I left all these tabs out and that's because when you put the joint compound on, you paint completely over the tape. You just basically cover this entire wall. So then you leave like the tape tails so you can just peel them off after the joint compound comes on. I have watched so many tutorials on how to do this that I'm pretty sure it comes off, the tape comes off really easily and the joint compound just stays on the wall. But I do know that part is pretty messy. I spent so much time last night measuring, taping, and getting that wall prepped that I am just ready to get to the next step and see how it's gonna look. I will say though that if you wanna try this project, the taping, takes so much patience and time so just keep that in mind that is a lot of work i haven't gotten to the rest of it yet but i think that's kind of the same thing you just have to take your time and have patience and just know that the end result turns out so good all right quick change of plans miles and i are now sitting outside of walmart because um Ryan went to pick up a ladder off of Facebook Marketplace and at the same time a lady I've been talking to for this like baby bassinet and stand messaged me that she was home so he's also going to go pick that up so I figured just to save time we would run out to Walmart and get the tape and get some other stuff um, since we were already out getting coffee. I've mentioned before that I'm new to the whole Dunkin Donut thing. Uh, there was a Starbucks really close to our old house so I just got really used to going there and I, I like like Dunkin Donuts coffee but my biggest gripe with them is that they're so inconsistent with their drinks like the past three times I've went I've gotten an iced caramel macchiato and I really liked it but then this time I went to the same one ordered the same exact thing but it is so sweet like I don't add extra sweetener I don't say no sugar like it's usually like somewhat sweet but not like this is almost like nauseating I can't even drink it. How was your donut? Exactly. It was good? Are you gonna be my helper? Let's go. All right, we're back from the store and this is the tape that I picked up from Walmart 18 millimeter. So this is the size of my grout lines. And then I also um, picked up this sealant, which I forgot to get last time. It's this polyacrylic. And I got this in clear matte because I didn't really want it to add any shine, but I just wanted it to add like a protective layer if I needed to clean it off for whatever reason. And then I did get another um, case of this 
joint compound just in case. I figure I can always return it if I need to, but I just wanted to have a backup. The other things I picked up that I'm gonna be using is just this pack of three paint brushes. I am going to use this little putty knife to spread the joint compound on the wall over the tape. And then I might end up returning this primer. People use the primer in the tutorial that I watched, but they used it, I think, because the wall that they were adding their faux brick to was not white. So they added this in all the grout lines to make it white. But since I'm already doing it on a white wall, I don't know if I really need the primer. So that's to be determined. The next thing I picked up is just the brown paint to paint the bricks and then to whitewash the bricks after you painted them the brown color and that's all dried. I just got the Kills chalk style paint in white. All right, so I just finished taping. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. But here it is. It's looking good so far. That's supposed to be like the most time consuming part. So that is now done. While I taped, Miles <laughs> destroyed this playroom, so we have to clean that up. Ryan went and picked up this little bassinet for me, so that's exciting. Um, I think I'm just gonna replace this cover or the green liner that's in there. I'm just gonna get a new one, but I'm excited to use that and the cute little stand that rocks. update on the faux brick wall. Today I also have to go in for my glucose test to see if I have gestational diabetes so fingers crossed that I do not. So here is the wall. I put all of the joint compound on and it should be all dry. I mean it feels feels dry. So at this point what I'm going to work on later today is I'm going to be putting the brown paint on and then I will let that dry, and I'm hoping when I get back from my glucose testing appointment, I can start whitewashing it. Here is the top section. It took me about two hours to finish the joint compound last night. I started with this wall. We had plans Saturday night, so I was just able to finish um, doing the joint compound on this section. So this was able to dry for two days, and then the rest, I did in about two hours um, last night. And it's a slow process. This DIY is definitely not for the faint of heart. All right, so I'm prepping everything to start painting. I'm just gonna use this tiny paintbrush. And then I just poured this whole thing into this cup because I know I'm gonna need it. I have two backups. Colors as the sun goes down. No, it doesn't even matter to Feel I need to take a ride I don't know when I'll get back Keep on going and relax tonight This is how 
far I got with just one of those little paint cans. I was able to do this part, a little bit up top, and then just this section that wraps around. So this is the largest wall, so that is done. And then I just need to finish this little archway and then this little wall that wraps around here. It's definitely too dark for my taste, so I'm excited to get back in there and whitewash it, but I am excited that we are on to the next step. And now I need to go do my glucose blood test, so I'll take a little break and then we will be back. All right, so here is what it looks like after one coat of the brown paint. It's really dark for me, but some people stop at this step. You can add different colors of brown also to this if you wanted. I just did a medium brown, but you could also do like medium, light, and dark if you wanted to. So since I knew I was gonna be whitewashing this down a lot, I just did one shade of brown. And as you can see, I didn't even do any brick, like a solid brown, I kind of just, started at one spot and spread it out a little bit just because I wanted it to look um, varied with each brick. Like I didn't want to fill in every brick a light brown. I wanted certain spots to show up darker and things like that. So now I'm gonna grab my white chalk paint and start whitewashing it to hopefully get the um, like German schmear look that I'm going for. product. I am so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks so good and adds some charm into this builder grade home and just adds definitely some character. I whitewashed down my brown paint a lot but I kind of just left random bricks a little darker than others which I thought gave it a cool look but it's definitely more white than brown but I actually didn't dislike the brown as much as I thought I was going to, but I just think this look kind of goes better with the vibe of our house. If you guys want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I did the faux brick wall, follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna have it broken down step-by-step -step over there and then save it to my highlights. So I will leave my Instagram handle here and it's also in the description box down below. There's already so many walls I'm seeing now that I wanna add this faux brick to, but I think I need to pump the brakes a little bit and I need to focus next on the nursery. But I am blown away with how our entryway looks with this faux brick. Everyone that comes over is like amazed and super impressed that it's a faux brick and that I was able to do it all myself. So if you're thinking about doing this DIY, I would highly recommend doing it just know that it is very time consuming, but that the end result is gonna turn out awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.